Good morning. Today we will have a look at this blind tool that I made in Unreal that you can download for free if you need stuff such as walls, tracks or roads. So first things first, head over to the Gumroad page uh, linked down below where you can read up on the features and then download this. Uh, so just type in your email here and you will get a download link. Then view content and hit download. And if you want, you can give it a five star rating as well. That helps me a lot. So after you've downloaded it, uh, just uh, right click and extract the folder. And inside the folder, you will find a few files, uh, some U assets files. And just copy or cut all of these files into your content folder of your project. You will see that it automatically appears in your content browser. And that's all you need to do to install it. So the first one is the uh, deformation one. And you can use this one for stuff like roads or rail tracks or some bendable fences. And the thing you need to do in order to get this to work is that you need to type in the length on the X axis of your mesh, which is listed here in the uh, description. So you can see the default is 100. So for this demonstrational purpose, I've downloaded this very nice uh, rail track from Sketchfab. Uh, I'll link it down below. And if you hover over the uh, static mesh in the content browser, you can see that the approximate size uh, it's um, in the middle of all the text here. You can see that the approximate size is 160, which is what we'll type in here under the mesh X length. And it's always the X axis that we're working with here. So for the actual mesh, go to edit in blueprint and then under construction script, you'll find a node called add spline mesh component. And if you click it uh, here, you can change to your mesh. So either uh, click this one, you selected asset from content browser or uh, choose your own mesh from the uh, um, drop down menu here. And then hit compile and then save. And that's basically all you need to do in order to get it to work. So just uh, select the tangent and then extrude from the tangent. And you can move it along whatever axis that you want and it will automatically update the instance mesh and uh, bend it uh, along the uh, spline path, basically. Uh, so yeah, uh, use this one for uh, rail tracks or roads or um, yeah, some fences. Um, dirt paths, yeah, whatever you can uh, come up with. Looks very nice. And uh, yeah, you can uh, select the uh, tangents and move them around just like in yeah, any other product, product program that uses uh, paths, basically. So yeah, that's the first one. I hope you uh, like that one. So for the second one, this one doesn't have any deformation and it's very useful for stuff like walls or um, fences and stuff. So under placed mesh, select your own mesh here. And I will use this very nice uh, concrete block that I also downloaded from Sketchfab, link down below. And just hit use selected assets. So basically, after you've done that, you can just uh, simply extrude along the path. Uh, something like this, perhaps. And the mesh doesn't deform. So uh, you can create 90 degrees angles, uh, such as walls um, or yeah, fences or barriers and stuff. Basically, anything that you don't want to bend in an unnatural way. 
And if you uh, scale the tangents, it becomes a bit easier to create 90 degrees angles, uh, as you can see here. Yeah, so you can create something like this, perhaps. And then keep on extruding and uh, yeah. So uh, for this one, you have uh, one property that you can uh, change if you want. And that is the offset, the spacing between the uh, objects. So if you select the blueprint again, uh, here you can see mesh offset. And uh, yeah, you can offset the mesh depending on yeah, what, uh, what you're using it for. And uh, yeah, so that's the uh, non-deformation one. So you have two options, uh, one bendy or one not bendy, basically. Hope you like this one as well. So for the third one, we will have one with uh, basically anything that has cables or wires. So for this one, I've included a um, electrical uh, power line pole, and I will just duplicate it a few times here. So select one, and then under next mesh, you can select the next one in line and it will automatically connect the wires between the connectors. And I will show you in just a bit how this is set up and how you can use your own. Uh, but yeah, basically I've included this power line uh, mesh uh, in the uh, pack, so you can uh, try it out with this one. Um, and uh, yeah. So for the properties of this one, you have a few different settings that you can play with. Uh, the first one is reattach cables. So basically the way this is built is that if you uh, move it, it will automatically recalculate the position of the next one, but not the previous one. So you have to uh, tick or untick uh, this reattach cables one in order to get the previous one to reattach again. And then the next one is gravity. So if you want the cables to have either uh, a pre preset gravity, you can check this box. Or if you uncheck it, you can set the gravity uh, for each of the cables on your own. So if you want a really loose hanging cable, you can increase the values here. Or if you want a really stiff one, you can set it to zero to have it straight from point A to point B. Depending on taste and your projects. So yeah, that's the third one. I really hope you like this one as well. So you're probably thinking to yourself, well, if I want to add my own mesh to the third one, how can I do that? And how can I add a new connector point? Uh, and I will show you here. So open up the blueprint and it's not as scary as it looks. Basically, we'll just have to duplicate a few things and change the number. So here is the uh, mesh I've included in the blueprint pack. So if you want to change it, just change the static mesh. Then you can see here we have four different wire connectors. And these are uh, actually basically spheres that have a set uh, position in order to uh, find the, the tangent end for the next one, basically. So uh, under rendering, you can see that I've set it to uh, uh, non-visible. But if we change it back to visible, you can see that, yeah, the connectors are spheres. So in order to uh, make a, a new cable, just to duplicate these two. And you'll see that it's now called wire connector five. And then position this on your mesh where you want the connector to be. And I'll just unhide the fourth one to make it a bit easier to see what we're doing. 
so yeah, now you have a fifth connector point. And we just need to change a few things in the blueprint in order to get this new one to work. Uh, but basically it's mostly copy and paste, so don't be intimidated by all of these nodes. So for the first one, zoom into the uh, destroy component. And then add your fifth cable, the wire cable 5. And then plug it into the target. It's not harder than that, basically. So, duplicate all of this. Copy, paste. Control C, Control V. And then plug in the set output into this small one here. And then connect the set output to this one small here. You can hold Control in order to drag it. And rename it to Cable 5. And then if you zoom in, you'll see a few things called 4, uh, which is not what you want. So grab your wire connector 5, and then just drag and drop it onto the node, onto an empty area, and it will replace it with the new one. And do the same thing for basically everything else that has uh, wire 4. So wire cable 5 instead of 4. Uh, yes, correct and then compile, save, and finally over here copy and paste a row for the cable width and gravity. So I'll just expand this a bit and then copy and paste the fourth row. And set the set output to the next ones. And under wire cable 4 we will replace this with our new Uh, wire cable 5, drag and drop onto an empty area from the random float, insert it to the set input. And uh, I think we have two more here, yeah. So wire cable 4, that's incorrect. We need to replace it with wire cable 5. And then here you can see that we have a variable. So we need to copy and paste this fourth one and rename it. So copy, control C and control V, paste it and rename it to cable underscore five underscore gravity. And then replace this one with the one in the construction script. There we go. And uh, oh yeah, almost forgot. Connect this one to the one that we pasted earlier. So here. And uh, yeah, That's all there is to it in order to um, add a new um, wire to your mesh. And you can of course change the uh, mesh that you're using for something else. Maybe another model or... Yeah, you get the point. So yeah, that's all my free, free uh, blueprints for splines in Unreal. I hope you uh, like them and... Uh, get some use out of them for your next project and I would also like to give a big uh, shout out thanks to Unreal Nick for the uh, rail tracks that I used in this video and the uh, concrete block uh, made by Shastamir also on Sketchfab. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!